10 Most Dangerous Hackers in History 10. Jonathan James At the age of 15, child prodigy Jonathan James hacked into basically everything he could, from the Florida-based Miami-Dade school system to the US Defense Threat Reduction Agency who was supposed to protect the country from weapons of mass destruction. He even found a way into NASA systems, stealing $1.7 million worth of software which could control the physical environment of the International Space Station. As a result, NASA was forced to shut down their system for three weeks which cost $41,000. This national security breach wasn't taken lightly, and in 2000, James was arrested and convicted on two counts of juvenile delinquency. His sentence? Six months house arrest, probation until the age of 18, and a written letter of apology to NASA. He was on the government's radar from then on, and in 2008, James's house was raided when he was suspected of taking part in another series of hacks, but the possibility of being jailed for a crime he claimed he hadn't committed evidently spooked James and he killed himself, despite not having actually been arrested for the crime. 9. Matthew Bevan and Richard Price A mentor is supposed to take you under their wing and show you the ways of the world, but instead, 16-year-old Richard Price was shown the dark side of the Matrix when he and his 21-year-old mentor Matthew Bevan committed a series of hacks against government agencies. Together, they hacked the United States Air Force, NASA and NATO, copying battlefield simulations and trying to find evidence of UFOs. In addition, the pair hacked into the Korean Atomic Research Institute database and copied the information onto the United States Air Force systems. The US didn't know who had given them the information and were concerned that if North Korea found out, they could accuse them of spying and potentially threaten war in return. Luckily, the data was South Korean, meaning any potential tension could have been easily de-escalated. The pair got off lightly, with Price fined $1,500. By the time Bevan's case came to court, the lack of evidence against him led to a full acquittal. 8. Edward Majicic Do you remember the nude photo leak in 2014, wittily referred to as Celebgate or the fappening by 15-year-olds with sticky palms? Well, this was down to several figures, including Edward Majicic. The serial hacker cracked the iCloud and Gmail accounts of hundreds of celebrities in order to obtain nudes for his personal use. But this didn't last long, and these nude images found their way onto the internet for everyone to see. The photos made headlines worldwide and caused a fair amount of concern over the security of people's private data. It seemed that hackers were able to break into iCloud accounts with a simple email address. Majacek was convicted of the hack in September 2016 and took responsibility for the invasion of privacy. It is thought he will face a nine-month prison sentence. 7. Gary McKinnon British citizen Gary McKinnon has been called the most dangerous hacker in history after being accused of hacking 97 United States military and intelligence systems over a 13-month period, starting in 2002. On one network alone, he caused 2,000 computers to be shut down, deleting weapons logs and other important files. During another hack, McKinnon got straight to the point and left a message, your security is crap, on the US military's website. According to McKinnon, this campaign of messing with the Americans was largely to do with his attempts at trying to find evidence of UFOs. I found what I was after. I found evidence of UFOs and the fact that NASA covered them up. After hacking into NASA websites, he claimed to have found images of extraterrestrial spaceships. It had no sort of seams or rivets. It didn't look man-made at all. He also claimed that he'd uncovered an Excel spreadsheet detailing the names of non-terrestrial officers who work in the US Air Force, as well as the details of a space program named Solar Warden. He was eventually detained in 2002 when an American grand jury indicted him and called for his extradition. However, he wasn't handed over and 10 years later, the British government threw out the case against him. 6. Guardians of Peace In the autumn of 2014, Sony Pictures announced the planned release of their latest comedy, The Interview, in which Seth Rogen and James Franco come up with an elaborate plot to kill the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. But before the film could be released, a group calling themselves Guardians of Peace demanded that Sony pull the interview from upcoming screenings. They revealed that they had hacked Sony's system and stolen information including 47,000 social security numbers and a whole series of embarrassing emails. 
These purportedly revealed Hollywood secrets and celeb gossip, including an email by Hollywood producer Scott Rudin in which he called Angelina Jolie a minimally talented spoiled brat. Not content with just embarrassing Sony, the Guardians of Peace went on to release malware on Sony systems and even threatened to commit terrorist attacks at film screenings if the interview wasn't canned. While the US formally accused North Korea of the attack, there are those who say that it's too convenient. The hackers have never been caught. 5. Karl Koch Now to the dark days of the Cold War. Karl Koch was a German computer hacker during the 80s who associated with a group called the Chaos Computer Club. This group of renegades would hack into US government computer systems and steal information and source codes to sell to the Soviet security agency, the KGB. On their hit list was NASA, as always, the US Chief of Staff's databank and the Max Planck Institute for Nuclear Physics. In 1989, the West German authorities discovered this espionage and Koch, along with the other members of the club, began to cooperate, confessing to their crimes with the promise that they wouldn't be prosecuted. Koch was found burned to death in a forest near Seal in Germany. The death was officially ruled as a suicide, but numerous conspiracy theorists believe he was killed by either the German state or the KGB to prevent further cooperation. 4. Kevin Mitnick Kevin Mitnick became the poster boy for hackers everywhere when, in the early 90s, he hacked into nearly everything, including Nokia, Motorola and IBM. But in 1993, after making one hack too many into telephone service company Pacific Bell, the FBI began investigating him. This manhunt was widely publicized and Mitnick went on the run for two and a half years. He was eventually caught in 1995 and served five years in prison. The court found him so threatening that for eight months of his sentence, he was placed in solitary confinement. Law enforcement had convinced the judge that he could start a nuclear war by whistling codes into a payphone. No longer considered an international threat today, Mitnick uses his powers for good and works as a cybersecurity advisor for several of his former targets, including IBM and the FBI. 3. Albert Gonzalez Even those hacking for the right side of the law can go rogue. In 2003, computer hacker Albert Gonzalez was working as an administrator for the website shadowcrew.com, which held auctions for stolen credit card information before he was arrested by the Secret Service. On his arrest, he began cooperating with the authorities and thanks to his information, they put away nearly 30 of his fellow hackers. But despite his cooperation with the Secret Service, from 2005 to 2007, Gonzalez is believed to have been the ringleader in a hacking operation that stole approximately 175 million credit card numbers. That takes balls, as does going with the 50 Cent inspired operation name Get Rich or Die Trying. During his spree, it was rumored that he threw himself a $75,000 birthday party and that he once complained about having to count $340,000 by hand. The total amount of money stolen from the victims remains undisclosed, but in 2010, Gonzalez was eventually caught and sentenced to 20 years in prison. 2. Cutting Sword of Justice The Cutting Sword of Justice, as they call themselves, is a group of hackers whose stated goal is to oppose several Arab states including Egypt, Syria and Saudi Arabia. So far, they've only picked on one group though, Aramco, Saudi Arabia's national oil company. In 2012, the Cutting Sword of Justice released a virus worm called Shamoon. Shamoon damaged 30,000 computers by searching for files in specific directories and deleting them, causing a massive headache for Aramco and placing 10% of the world's oil supply at risk. Why is this dangerous? Well, one of the main states suspected of being behind the Cutting Sword is Iran, which suggests that these hackers are just a few codes away from further escalating tensions in the Middle East. 1. Astra Back in 2008, when the world was slowly sliding into the economic abyss of the credit crunch, a 58-year-old unidentified Greek mathematician was arrested in Athens under suspicion of conducting potentially one of the most damaging hacks ever. The hacker, going by the name Astra, allegedly hacked into the French military contractor Dassault and spent five years stealing sensitive weapons technology information. According to Greek officials, Astra caused more than $360 million worth of damages to Dassault, but Astra's mischief doesn't end there. He then set about selling the information which contained intelligence on military jets used by India, Egypt and France for $1,000 a pop to anyone who wanted it. 
Astra has never been officially identified, but security analysts have said that the culprit was an insider who gained illegal access. For his crimes, he was sentenced to six years in jail.